uh, our sector in, live, in livestock is very key to the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Today we are here with the Association of Livestock uh, uh, Production uh, Society uh, where we are brought in everybody in the livestock society uh, production area. Uh, so there's researchers, there's innovators, there's animal production uh, or livestock production uh, professionals uh, and I've challenged them to think through how we can ensure that we have the correct breeds of animals from our various regions in the country. Uh, so genetics, how can we innovate on genetics to make sure that we are breeding an animal that can produce high quality hides and skins for our leather value chain, that can produce high amounts of milk so that we get our yield of milk per cow up per day, uh, that can produce quality milk, that uh, meat that will make us pra competitive globally. So the challenge I've given them is to really look at uh, the whole genetics area uh, and, show, and ensure that they can research, innovate, give it to us so that we can get policy interventions that then we can pass on to our farmers and educate our farmers to ensure that they have the right breeds uh, for their animals. That way they can be able to produce more. I've also challenged them on the area of animal feed. We are not producing enough animal feed which is causing our production to come very low in the various value chains especially daily and meat value chains so again we have challenged the professionals here uh, and the academics uh, the researchers to figure out what is it that we can do to commercialize our animal feed and fodder industry to ensure that we do large-scale animal feed production which will help us gain economies of scale to bring down the cost of food. When we go around the country and we speak to our farmers, the number one thing they complain about is that the cost of the animal feed is too high, which means when we produce our meat, we produce our milk, uh, we cannot compete because of cost of productions are so high and then we'll not be able to compete with our neighbors. Uh, countries we can't compete globally and also it makes things like milk and meat too expensive for our citizens which then increases the cost of living so that's the challenge I've given the professionals here uh, which they have taken very positively and we have agreed to be meeting quarterly with myself and my team so that we can see the progress we are making in innovation and in solving some of those challenges that we have uh, we've also challenged the professionals here on animal production to take advantage of the vast land we have in our arid and semi-arid lands, our ASLs. That's where 70% of our livestock is and that's where most of the land, almost 80% of the land in this country lies in the arid and semi-arid lands. That is a big resource for us and a big opportunity for us. So I have challenged the animal production um, professionals here today in Kisumu to come up with ways in which we can restore our rangelands, in which we can use uh, our arid and semi-arid areas to create feedlots for our animals uh, and how we can double our dairy production from the arid and semi-arid areas because we already have the resource that is the livestock there. It's just about increasing the productivity of the milk and ensuring that we create an environment in terms of feed and fodder in the arid and semi-arid lands to triple our dairy production in this country. There's a huge market regionally, continentally and globally for dairy, for meat, for leather and if we're able to crack this then we will create millions of jobs for our young people and we will transform this economy very, very well through this sector of ours called livestock.